shake it out. <laughs> okay, guys. So this practice is, again, for those of you who um, don't have a whole lot of time in your day but still want to get a good yoga flow in, it's going to be a really simple, condensed version of a yoga flow, completely different um, from what you're used to for a full hour. So we're going to get moving pretty fast and go through a sequence and then cool down pretty quickly as well. Let's get started. So we're going to start right into it today at the very front of your mat, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Bring your big toes together, your heels out slightly, and spin your hands forward to the front of the mat. Just taking these first few minutes of class to center. Softly seal your lips. Guide your attention down into your feet and just begin to notice if there's any dominant feeling in your feet towards the toes or towards the heels. Maybe even really exaggerate shifting weight forward in the toes and back in the heels. Let's see if you can find center to your feet between the front and the back foot. And now begin to notice the right versus the left foot, which one has a little bit more weight. Maybe begin to pedal the feet, just feeling the weight shift between the right and left side. And find a place that feels center in your body. You grow just a little bit taller, crown of the head lifts up towards the sky. You take a deep breath in through your nose. Big exhale out of the mouth. Inhale, sweep your arms wide and up. And exhale, hinge from your hips, fold forward. Fingertips release all the way to the floor, Uttanasana. Inhale, hands towards your shins, flat through your back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant your palms one foot at a time, high plank pose. Inhale, shift two inches forward over your wrists. Exhale, lower halfway, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, tops the feet flat, lift through your chest and shoulders, lift your knees and thighs, upward dog. And roll of your toes, hips high, downward facing dog, exhale. Crown of your head falls towards the floor. Just taking two deep breaths in, two deep breaths out. Inhale, rise high to your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, hop or float your feet forward, fold, Uttanasana. Line your heart over your hips and feel the length through your back, tailbone lowers towards the floor. Gazing forward, breathing in and full exhale out. As far forward as you can reach, inhale, right elbow rests to the front right knee. Extended side angle, reach your left fingertips over your front right leg. Roll the chest and heart up towards the sky. Warrior two, breathing in. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the ground, breathing out. Pause here. High plank pose, right foot steps back, inhale and chaturanga. Exhale, halfway down. Upward facing dog, tops the feet flat, open the chest and shoulders. And exhale, downward facing dog, roll over your toes, hips high to the sky. Breathe in, out. Two breaths in between. Inhale, rise and lift your left leg up. And exhale, slowly step your left foot forward between your hands. Hands reach up towards the sky, breathe it in, crescent lunge. And exhale, step your right foot forward to match it with your left, back to your chair. Hands to heart, inhale. And take your twist up and over towards the left side. Exhale, right elbow moves to the outside of the knee. Pressing into your twisting chair position. One more breath in. Feel the weight into your front left foot and slide your right foot to the back of your mat, twisting lunge, second side. Inhale, arms reaching up high, crescent, inhale. 
and warrior two, back heel spins flat, exhale. Lift your shoulders up towards your ears, breathe it in. And soften the shoulders towards the floor, breathe it out. Inhale, reach as far forward as you can. And exhale, rest your left elbow towards your front left knee. Guide your right fingertips over your front left leg. Feel that deep stretch on that right side. Inhale. Full breath out as you exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Come back up to T-shape in the arms. And exhale, slowly cartwheel your hands. Breathing it out. Pause and hold here. High plank pose. Left foot slides back. Breathe it in. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, open the chest and shoulders. And downward facing dog, roll over your toes. Taking that same right leg up towards the sky, inhale, evening it out. Right foot steps forward, exhale. Hands reach up towards the sky, crescent lunge, breathe it in. And step your left foot forward next to your right chair pose, breathe it out, deep squat down. Guide your hands to your heart, come up to standing and take a wide stance, turning your toes out and your heels in at the front of your mat. Sweep the arms wide and up and squat down, breathe it out. Press your elbows back towards your knees and lift your chest forward towards your thumbs, breathing in. Just taking a moment to arrive, feeling that deep stretch for your hips. Inhale, left hand finds the right ankle, and exhale, right hand reaches up and over towards the left side. I'm opposite of you guys. Inhale, right hand across to your left leg. Exhale, left hand stretches up and over to the right. Just moving back and forth a few rounds at your own pace. Release your hands towards the floor. Exhale, lift your hips and slide your left knee to the back of your mat, lizard pose. Settle down to that left knee. Option to stay here, high to the hands or lower down to both elbows. Try to put most of the weight through your big toe side of that right foot. Inhale, high to the hands. And exhale, pigeon pose. Right ankle finds its way over to your left wrist. Release the shin forward and stretch that left leg back. Fold over your right shin. Lower the very forehead. Pop the head towards the floor. And how rise high to both palms. Exhale, tuck those left toes, three-legged dog. Lift your right leg up and back, pause here. Bend your right knee, reach your toes towards your left armpit, and take giant circles, open your hips. Inhale, lower your right foot next to your left foot, and exhale, roll forward, high plank pose. Chaturanga. Upward dog, breathe it in. And downward dog, breathing out. Left leg up to the sky, inhale. Left ankle steps outside of your left wrist, exhale. Lower to your right knee, option to stay here or settle down to the elbows. I'll rise to both palms. Exhale, heel toe your left ankle across to your right wrist. Lower and release, pigeon. Lower the chest forward, down to the elbows. Taking your time here just to breathe into that left side. 
our hips don't get enough attention when it comes to stretching. And a lot of our daily movement is tightening those hips. It's putting our hips in flexion. to both palms. Exhale, tuck the right toes, three-legged dog, left leg lifts high to the sky, bend your knee and drip your heel towards your right armpit, giant circle. Mm -hmm. Left foot finds its way next to your right, high plank pose. Let's pause at the bottom of our chaturanga and hold here for five, for four, three, two, and upward dog for one, lift the chest. And downward facing dog, roll over the toes. Deep, long breath in. Big exhale out. Shift the weight into the left hand. Take your right hand across to the left ankle. Twist in your downward dog. Lift the chest up towards the sky. And switch sides. Exhale, right hand finds the floor. Left hand reaches around to the right leg, up high or low as you twist your heart open. Lower and release your left hand. Lower down to your knees, Balasana Child's Pose, hips to heels. Forehead down, exhaling out. Elbows soft to the wrists. Inhale all the way up to the palms. Exhale, swivel to one hip and extend your legs forward to the front of your mat. Nadasana staff pose, palms alongside your hips, toes lifting up, press down through your heels and push away from the floor. Just feeling that extra length you're getting through your spine. Option to stay here or just take the chin over both shoulders as you breathe out. Inhale, reach and extend your hands up. Exhale, reach and lengthen forward all the way to the front of your mat, letting your fingertips land where you feel deep sensation. Press down and lift up, flat through your back, and walk the hands forward as you fold. Feeling those hamstrings get a deep stretch. Breathing in, hips to heels, breathing out. Lower all the way to your spine and once you wipe the legs side to side as you arrive. Reaching your arms wide into a full T-shape, cross your right knee over your left, eagle legs. Slide your hips to the right side of your mat and lower the knees to the left, gaze over your right shoulder. Back to center, breathing in, switching the legs as you breathe out, left knee over right knee. Hips slide to the left, knees fall to the right, look over your left shoulder, finding your twist. Back to center, breathing in, and happy baby pose, exhale, reach for the outside edges of your feet. Pull your knees towards your armpits. Enjoy four cycles of breath. When you're ready, one leg at a time extends to the very front of your mat. Finding Shavasana, final resting pose, roll the palms up to the sky. Stay as long as you're like, but if you're ready to come out, if it's that shortened day, stretch through the arms, stretch through the legs like you were getting out of bed, and place your feet flat to the floor. Roll to your right and press up to a seated position. 
Guide both hands towards your heart. And sweep the arms wide enough to, your, to the sky. And guide both hands towards your heart center. Inviting in any last bit of emotion, thought, breath that is needed for you in this moment. Whatever it is you need more of. Allowing that to come through. The divine light in me honor sees and recognizes the highest light within each of you. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. My name is Brittany. I am one of the instructors here at Fortis and Yoga Lux, and I am currently leading the yoga teacher training. So my schedule is consistent, but today we needed a little bit more time. So I popped on to um, kind of show you guys a mini sequence that I like to do when I don't have a whole lot of time in the day, but yoga is a priority. You can always make room and make time for yoga just move a little bit. Whatever you can do is better than no movement at all in your body. We have a more upbeat class coming up for you right after this one. So sit tight and don't move. Grab some water and stay for the next class. It will get you a little bit uppity uppity after that little um, midday stretch. So thank you guys so much. Glad you liked it. Condensed. Awesome. Love it. Good job, everyone.